Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Today I wanted to do a really quick video showing you how I did some of these paper clay embellishments that I made that I'm using in the current album, or that I'm going to be using in the current album that we're making, the Pretty Mosaic uh, A-sized, basically amazing album. And this is the mold for that collection that was made for that collection. I have it linked down below. And this one is a... Um, Memories hardware in its corners. I, I don't know how to say that. Um, can you see it? I wrote it on the back there. Sorry, they're dirty. <laughs> I've been using them. But I thought I would do a really quick um, video showing you how I got the how I got them made and how I let them dry and how I ended up giving them a little bit of color and sealing them and all of that. Okay. So what you're going to need is some mold, and I have some paper clay. I'll have this linked down below. Um, I've got a brush here. This is just a real fluffy brush, and it's kind of dirty. It's, it's got <laughs> cornstarch in it, and some cornstarch. It doesn't. I don't think it matters what kind of cornstarch. This is just what I have. But I ended up putting the cornstarch in a little bitty container just so I don't want to have this on my workspace. So, um, so yeah, that's what you need to start. Okay. First thing you want to do is, let me get my cornstarch open here. I am going to dab my little fluffy brush into the cornstarch and I'm just going to kind of swirl in all of these spaces. So this is something you want to do ahead of time. Um, it's unlike how we did, we used the same mold for this fancy tape dispenser. Uh, I'll link that video up there and down below if you want to check it out. Unlike this, you have to wait for this to dry before you can add it to the paper. You have to wait for it to dry before you can add it to your paper project because it'll warp your paper otherwise. Um, but this one, we put it, we put it, <laughs> put it, it. <laughs> You can put this directly onto a hard surface and then start painting it without having to wait uh, overnight. I, I did uh, use a one that was already dry in the video. I had already prepped one, but you don't have to. You could go ahead and start painting it once you put the molds onto something like this. But when you're going onto paper, you want you do kind of want them to be dry. So. And I think I'm going to pick, now what I did over here is I, when I first got this mold, this is why it's dirty, I went and did like one of each one so that I could um, kind of get an idea for the size they are when they like shrink and stuff. So I want to use some of these on some of the pages and some maybe even the covers, I'm not really sure. So I'm going to make some of these as well. Um, and we'll talk about we'll talk about um, the best way to dry these because these I did not dry properly and they don't sit flat. I don't know how else to show you. They don't sit flat uh, on anything. It's probably you can see how it's like sticking up there. I guess that's okay, but I'm going to be attaching these to pages that are going to be movable. So I want it to have a I want it to bond to the surface completely. If that makes sense. So I'm glad I did this because I can look and see because I kind of like I kind of like that one when I was just holding on to and I'm pretty sure it's this one here. Um, I like that one a little bit bigger and then there's a few other ones I like so I was going to make some in this video but I don't have any dried and ready that are flat so that's okay though. I think I made two of those same things uh, but there's all different ones in here. They're so pretty you guys. You should get this. You should get this mold here and it I guarantee you'll use it for projects. Um, they're just really pretty. I think it's a Frank Garcia mold. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but anyway, so you kind of get my point. I kind of did one of each. I think I did two of one accidentally, but it's okay. I, don't, I can't remember where everything went. Does this one go here? Yep. That was the duplicate one. Mm, this one I think went here. You can see how they change, like that one, you can tell that one's not flat at all. They shrink just a little bit. Like these little guys here are super cute. Those would be great little embellishments anywhere, really. So if you're gonna, if you're thinking you're gonna use 
any of these on your covers, you may want to pre-make them and let them dry. I heard that, I do not know this for a fact, but I heard that you can dry these in a microwave. I've never tried it, so I'm not gonna tell you that's something you can do, okay? <laughs> but I heard that you can, but I'm not gonna do that. But anyway, so I think I like, I definitely want some of those big ones here. I don't like the super big one as much. I like this one here. I don't think I like that as much. I like that one. I like the ones that are a little bit more dainty um, looking or feeling. Um, don't really want any of those. That one's okay, but the shell, I don't think there's any kind of shell. There's like a shell design here. Maybe, maybe. Mm, no. So I kind of like those. Yeah, I might make several of those just because, okay. So in that case, how am I gonna make sure? <laughs> Maybe I'll put a dot right by them so that I know that's the ones that I want to to use. And there's, you know, there's a, um, a top and a bottom or a right and a left or one for each um, direction. I don't know how to put it, but there's like for each side. I don't know if that's going to help or not. We'll see. <laughs> so, whoop. so I'm going to put some cornstarch in those you can see where I eat where I made the other ones because I did only did one side now I have no idea where my little dots went there's a dot there's a dot okay I think I know which ones okay I don't think I'm gonna need that so this is paper clay um, I used it in the same video I used uh, for the tape dispenser. This is what I use. And you just want to pinch off just a little bit. And whatever you're not using, you need to put it back in your Ziploc bag. You should probably seal it, but I'm just going to wrap it up there. I don't know if I'm going to be using that little pot there. A little pot of flowers. The flowers on top might be kind of cute. I hadn't thought to do that. Um, let's see what that looks like just real quick. So you just press it in there. And you want it to be as flat as you can possibly get it. I'm trying to scooch some of that back in there. You could use like a rolling pin if you want. I've got a piece of clear, um, I think this is craft plastic, where I've taken it and I've done this before where I've kind of smoothed out the, you know, the top part. You can do that. And then you flip it over and you roll it out. Oh, that might be kind of cool. And then if you don't like, I'm gonna use my craft knife. Like I don't really, let's see, need, some of these parts because they are supposed to be like the pot so I'm just going to carve some of that away or you could leave it for a more organic look well that's cute I will tell you the ones that have the multi layers are dry a little bit more difficult. It's a little bit harder to get them to dry flat, but it can be done. Okay, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this one next. I don't really want the greenery that goes around, so I just want the rose part. I think it's super pretty. Whoa. And it's sticking to my fingers. Maybe I should put cornstarch on my fingers. I kind of like the rough look of it. Like here's one, one of those, and it's completely dry. Maybe it'll focus, maybe it won't. And see how it's completely dry, and I just didn't put the leaf part on there, right? 
I just like the way it looks. I think it's really pretty. And then I'm going to flip it over and roll it out. And if you get parts you don't like, then you can just trim them off. No big deal. Okay. And then I'm going to do the butterfly. Push away with my thumb. Get the excess. The butterflies are really delicate. They're really thin, which is okay. But I'm going to be using them as like charms and things. So um, I'm just going to make sure that I get them nice and sealed. So that they don't break as easy. But remember, it's going to be paper clay, so whatever you use it for, it may break. Alright, pop that out. See, the cornstarch really helps it come out really, really easily. Okay, and then let's do this big one down here. I don't think I have enough. So I would suggest that you make a handful of each one that you think you're going to be using and that way you'll have them ready. They'll be dry when you want to use them uh, and you won't have to wait when it comes time to use them in your album. Okay, so I'm just going to push this in here with my fingers and my thumb. These bigger, larger images, they take a little bit more. A little bit more finagling. A lot of times on this big set of roses or flowers, um, the little bitty delicate edges like the little leaves and things break off like this one's super flat and it broke off of one of the bigger pieces a lot of times those don't survive <laughs> but i figured we could still maybe use that for something really high spots. You could use an old credit card, an old gift card, just whatever. And then when you flip it over and roll it out, okay, see some of it got stuck in the mold and that's okay. I, that doesn't bother me. I'm just like, okay, well, that's fine. We won't use that. Okay, so there's the big one. Oh, look at the difference. It does shrink just itty bitty bitty bit. See? Just a little, but not not crazy. So, um, so yeah, I've made several of these already, and I've made several butterflies and several of these little flies. This is the first time I made one of those, though. Maybe let's make another one. Let's make a, uh, another one of those so that I can have a, a couple for later on down the road. So then we're also, let's make some corners, since I've just got a little bitty bit, let's make these little ones in my hand at the moment. We can go ahead and make both of them. Just itty bitty little corner pieces. So let's see, let's make some more. Start a 
over here on this side, I think. Oh. See, this one broke off. Okay, that one is perfect. So, I'm going to, let's see which one broke off, this one. I'm going to do it again. Let's see if I can get, maybe this is one of the ones you can just do one at a time. bigger they are maybe. Maybe the more gentle you have to be with them. The bigger and the more gentle. No, like the, not the bigger, but the, um, the skinnier the parts of it are. Does that make sense? Like the little legs of that, you know, that's, that's, uh, super delicate. Just take the time and roll it out. Yes. So now we got those two. This is like a hard surface, by the way. It's not paper. And my camera's crooked. Perfect. Voila. <laughs> um, okay. And then there's these up here. My, my stuff is starting to dry out just because it's sitting out and I've got a fan going and it's hot it's so hot today you guys so I'm just gonna make one of each I think for now but you kind of get the whoops you kind of get the point that you can make as many as you want and have them ready for you and then when you go to put them in your album, you can either, you can then, you can color them however you want. Or just glue them straight down to the paper as is, because I kind of like that look of it just being like um, this off-white color. Okay. All right, I think that's the only ones I'm gonna make right now on camera. I'm gonna seal my paper clay up. These wash easily, soap and water, no big deal, um, in case you're wondering. Okay, so like the butterflies, for example. I know I only made one. But I'm going to be using the butterflies as like um, like a paper clip or a dangle. And I think I'm just going to take and I'm going to use my stylus and just kind of like gently make like a, a dent or a hole here without it coming apart too bad right and then once I did that I'm gonna take my paper piercer my picky tool and just kind of make sure that there's an actual hole see that see right there there's an actual hole in it I started by doing a little bit of an impression and then I poked all the way through Okay, you can do this, actually you can do this after the fact as well. You don't have to do it um, while it's wet. Just FYI. Um, I didn't do that to any of these, but I was thinking we might experiment. Like this is one of the pieces that was kind of broken. These are already dry. So this is one of the pieces that was kind of broken off. And I was wondering if we could use this as a swivel closure. Um, I'll have to give that some thought because you 
you can definitely, well, let's use this broken off piece. You can definitely poke a hole through something through one of these that are dry. You just have to be super careful. Let's see. I'm just going to find a spot and I'm just going to kind of like wiggle, wiggle, wiggle and press just ever so slightly because you can see it's coming through the back now. Right? And now you've got a hole. So you can do that as well. You just have to be super careful so if you made a bunch and you dried them and they're flat and you're like oh shoot I want to do that well now you can so I did the same thing to to this one this one's dry you see that little hole right there I did the same thing to that one I think these would be pretty just as decorations though on a page so I don't know we'll see we shall see and I can always make more if I need more so what else was I going to show you really quick? So all of these, I have already got um, some butterflies made. I have a few more made that I've, I've done a little painting to, but um, one of them I've got like in the center, there's a hole in the center, which I like. I think that's a really good idea. And I'm wondering if I should have two that are in there. No, let's just leave one in the center. I can always make more. And then the rest of these have them in their wing, have a little hole in their wing. So, so that's fine. So these two are the same and these two are the same. I didn't even do that on purpose. Okay, and then these, the ones that are already dry, they already have holes in them as well. These pieces here. I just thought they were super cute. So in order to dry them flat, here's what I did. Some of these pieces are way skinnier, like this one. This piece here, this, since this is the only one that I've got this flat that's not dry, I would have this one on its own and I would put something over it like this and I would leave it to dry. This is just a container that I store some of my paper clay stuff in. I would leave it to dry. These that are thicker, like these, whoops. I would group these together and I would lay them next to each other. Oops, that leaf fell off. Oh, that's okay. Oh, shoot, that was cute. That was a cute little leaf, but that's okay. So I would lay those on here. You can already see they're starting to dry. They're changing a little bit of color. So they're like, they've got the, they're getting to be like whiter. Can you see that on camera? It looks really pretty in my monitor, actually. <laughs> um, I would take something like that, right? They're all about the same. And then I would take something else flat and lay that on top. Now, you may want to take something like your mold and lay that so that it doesn't lift up. You may want to do that because um, that's what I did with these, okay? So, since I've got more room on my little piece here, let's see if I can get more of these if they're about the same thickness. So I check on mine often. Sometimes um, I flip them, sometimes I don't. It really just depends. Um, like I feel like this one might be skinnier. I wonder if that one... No. It just really depends on the mold itself. Like when I... One time I... I um, flipped them and then the, I lost all the detail in the mold like it just flattened it so I flipped it too early before I don't remember what it wasn't one of these but it was something I don't remember actually I flipped them too early and it flattened them out and that was like well that was fun you know perfect so I'm gonna lay that on here it's not 100 they're not 100 percent the same thickness but I might even lay something bigger like this on here, like that. And then you let them dry, okay? So I'm not gonna sit that on top of that though. So I'm gonna set this aside and only made one. I should go ahead and make a bunch more, but I'm not gonna do that on camera. So what I wanna show you is how I'm making the 
Now you can obviously paint them once they're dry. Well, even it depends on how you're using them. Like I showed you in that tape dispenser video, but you can obviously paint um, paper, clay molds. You can paint them with anything that you want, but I am going to keep it simple. Uh, look at how pretty some of these are. They're just so, they're just so awesome and so versatile. Oh, I broke my thingy. My big old leaf. I broke my leaf. That's okay. Um, but anyway, they're super versatile. And they're great for a lot of projects. Great for mixed media. Great for adding some fun detail. So you can paint them with acrylic paint. You can paint them with inks. You can paint them with chalk paint. You can paint them with anything and everything. Distress ink. Anything you have, you can paint them. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's see, I guess, maybe not the one with the center. I haven't done any of these yet, so maybe I'll paint a couple of these. Let's paint these two. And then let's do one of these. Okay. So I actually have done it two ways and I'm going to show you the easiest way just because it's like eliminating a step. So why not? Right. So I'm just going to take my distress, uh, ink. I'm using walnut stain and distress oxide and I'm going to go around my edges like this. I'm going to get the tops like this. I'm even going to turn it over to the back just in case we see the back. Okay, I'm going to do that to all of these. So I've got all of these inked up just a little bit and then I'm going to take whoa, some multi matte medium by Ranger and a brush. I've got a brush somewhere. It doesn't really matter what kind of brush you use and I am going to seal them. Now you notice that that automatically picks up that ink and moves it around a little. Do you see that? So that's kind of cool. And I'll show you in a minute one that I did where I actually did paint that a color, um, kind of like an off-white color, just to get that kind of look. And then I distressed it with the distress ink and then I sealed it with this. And it looks exactly the same. Well, almost exactly the same. So I'll show you. I'll show you when we get done here. So I'm going to take that and do that to all of these. You see the difference between sealed and not sealed? It's a really big difference. So I'm going to do the tops first and then I will draw them and do the back. Now I'm just going to use a heat tool and I'm going to dry them and then I'm going to flip them over and do the same thing on the back side and dry them and then I'll be right back. And I got both sides coated. I'm pretty sure they're dry and I did one that didn't have any ink on it. So I just sealed, is it, there we go. I just sealed it front and back just as it is the same color as the paper clay because I wanted to show you what it looks like um, in this state. And in the state where we inked them, which I think they're super cute, right? So you could do it like that to where you ink them and seal them and they look like that. They look almost like wood embellishments, don't they? Then if you wanted to, to add even more, you could come back and hit the high parts again, right? And, and just add a little bit more detail. 
you could, if you wanted to, you could add some metallic paint. You could add some uh, gilding wax, that kind of thing. You can add anything you want to, to these, um, but that you just need to remember they are paper clay. If you try to snap it in half, they will snap in half, okay? <laughs> uh, this one here, this white one, if you wanted to seal it first and then come back and give it a little bit of inking to where it looks like that. Totally, totally pretty too. Oops. You can do it just like that. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Not sealed, just raw paper clay. That's what it looks like. Sealed with a little bit of ink after the fact. And here's what it looks like. Well, here, let me put it in my hand. And here's what it looks like um, when you ink it, then seal it. Those are the three different, that's just using, you know, the um, matte medium and the distress ink, okay, and the paper clay. Not using any color or anything like that. But I'm okay with it. I think I'm going to leave them. I mean, I like this too. I like that where it's white or whiter. <laughs> but then what you want to do, if you want to, these are Tim Holtz Ideology Jump Rings. I've had them forever. Um, but you can get jump rings anywhere. You can even make your own out of wire. And you're going to need something to open and close them. So I'm, I think I'm going to go for the, not the super large, but maybe the, maybe the ones that are in the middle. I think there's even, no, there, there might only be two sizes. You can see I've got stuff all over my fingers. Excuse me. Excuse that. <laughs> okay. So I might have to go back and... Before I open that up, I might have to go back and re-punch my holes here. That one's really on the edge. Okay. I might have to open this up a little bit more. You twist it. You don't pull, you twist. And then you feed it through, through there like that. And then if you wanted to make a paper clip, you don't have to do this before you close it, but you can just literally put the paper clip on there and twist it back into place. And now you have a paper clip dangly butterfly. Right? Isn't that super cool? Sorry about that glare. My camera is hot today and I think it's not wanting to focus properly. But anyway, so there's a paper clip. It's just that easy. Just that easy. And then, I haven't done one of these yet. Let's do one of these. Well, let's do two of those. You don't have to make that into a paper clip. You can just make it into a dangly bit. It's totally up to you. Or you can just make them into dangly bits and then decide as you go. That's always fun. All right? So now there's another dangly bit. <laughs> Is that a word? Can we make it a word? So... You can go through and add these anywhere you want to add them, where there's room. Now, if it's a flat, if there's two flat pages against each other, you're not going to be able to add any of this stuff because it they will no longer be flat. Ooh, I might have had, should have used the larger one on this one. Because there's not a whole lot of room there. But it's more towards the middle. That's super cute. And again, these will break, so be careful. I got one more, but we'll we'll wait on that. Okay, so here's a couple that I did prior to. One of them I painted with acrylic paint, and one of them I did not. Okay, this one I did not paint with acrylic paint, but this one I did. So, does it look that much different? I mean, I inked this one a little bit more heavily, but I don't think it does. So, I think it was just, I was adding an extra step that wasn't necessary. But, if you don't have any of this, then acrylic paint will help seal your paper clay as well. Just a little bit. Not, I mean, it's not going to make it, you know, completely impervious. But, acrylic paint will also work if you don't have anything like this. 
So these two were done just slightly different. This one uh, I painted, I didn't paint, I did the, I sealed it first and then put the ink after the fact, kind of like I did that one, right? And then this one I, this one I painted, but you can't really tell. So you can't really tell that I painted it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Oh, wait a minute, I had that wrong. That one's the white one and this one I painted. You see, you can't even tell. <laughs> you cannot tell. So anyway, I think these would be cute. I was thinking about using these as dangly bits on envelopes and I was thinking about using them as these cute little paper clips, um, that kind of thing. So yeah, and this, I think we could use this anywhere and then we can do the same with the, with the, um, with the corners and stuff like that. Of course, I don't have any that are dry and ready to go, but um, that's what I'm thinking. So you guys let me know what you think. Let's see, we've got this paper clip here, right? It's cute. I mean, it could literally go here on the side and it can dangle, dangle right there on the side there. Whoops, if I can get my fingers on it, right? Isn't that cute? It could go anywhere. The butterflies are a little flatter so it might be cute if you wanted to signify that this page needed to turn. You know, this could go here. I was thinking about putting corners um, on this page, but right and see if that is cute. I don't know if I'll leave that there, but again, it's just some cute options that because there because there's some thickness here, so there's space for thick things. I could put it on this side if I wanted to. I could keep that closed with one of these. Um, anyway, I think it's cute. And then let's see, we could have put, instead of a key, we could have done um, a dangly butterfly um, here, right? That would be cute. And we could actually, we could add it if we wanted to. Uh, but I'm thinking, this was the last video we did. I'm thinking the envelopes that are going in here, we're gonna use we're gonna use these dangling from the envelopes. But let's look at this. What if we did something like this as well? You can't really see it. Um, what if we didn't have a dangly bit on there? You could do little accents at the bottom because there's plenty of room between these two pages. You could put the little corner pieces here. You could have put that there um, instead of these two. I don't think you should do all three of those, but that could have been like a, hey, this signifies, you know, flip me. That would have been cute there. Um, just a lot of different options. Lots and lots of different options for you guys to play with. So that's kind of my thinking. It's kind of where I'm going with the this idea. So where did um I kind of liked it here. So we're gonna we're gonna leave it there for now. Just as like you know an, an idea. Yeah, so you kind of get the idea. You kind of get what I'm going for here. At least I think you do. Um, so you're gonna have to let me know what you guys think. You could put something like this here. You know, that would be a cute embellishment for right there. So it's just, they're very versatile. I think you guys should give them a try. And when you do, I think you should let me know what you think about it. How did it work out for you? Does it look good? I really like, I really like the idea of maybe putting corners here or maybe putting something like that down here at these bottom pieces. But we'll see once we get the butterflies here, cause we're adding butterflies to those envelopes. So when we get that done, I think it'll be cute. Also be cute on the covers. Um, so we may be making a whole bunch of them for the covers and just have them like raw like this. Cause if maybe we'll add color, maybe we won't. It just really depends. But anyway, I really like this idea. I think you guys are gonna get a lot of use out of this idea. And it'd be cute even, even if you were just doing a regular insert doing something like that at the top of that pocket, right? Would that not be super cute? Here's the flower package from that, this, this page over here, right? Let's, let's say that's just an insert and you have that there. It just looks amazing. And let's say, maybe if you didn't have that there, it might be too much having all of that, right? Okay, so those are kind of some ideas that I have. And I'd love to know your all's thoughts. I'd love to know if you give it a try. Be sure to leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And uh, be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.